someone in the group wanted to know about auto leveling the bed and there's two ways of doing this we can go hands on go into the touch screen control auto leveling there's a few options in here uh, move is you can move the printer in different axes. Auto home will set the printer to this point. Auto leveling and disable steppers, which probably you don't need to do with these machines anymore. It was back in the day when you did some uh, <laughs> leveling with paper and screws. It would you could disable the stepper. <clears throat> what that does is it gives you the ability to move your pieces around. Right now, this is a disabled stepper. It gives you the ability to move parts around. When these are engaged, they kind of like are in frozen state, very hard to move. So that's what disabled steppers are for. But let's go uh, look at the auto home. I mean the auto leveling. So it's heating the nozzle up a few degrees. I have this preheated for PLA, so it was at 200 degrees. So it's going to do that, and we'll start doing a 16 point auto level. And then there's also a voice command auto level, which you can do without actually touching the machine. And the way that <clears throat> the way that this auto leveling works is the nozzle touches the bed surface and triggers a little pressure point. We'll see the little blue light come on in here. Let's see. So every time it feels the pressure, it registers it and stores the height. So it's going to do that 16 different points around the bed here. And then what we'll do is, um, maybe we'll change the bed real quick just to give you guys an idea of why you would level a bed. You know, typically, like, I've been doing a few prints on this and I have not <laughs> changed the bed level at all. The only time you would do it is maybe if you changed the nozzle or you were having some problems or, you, you know, you'd go to a different surface like this. Then you have to re-level your bed to match the new material that you put on here. Or the new nozzle might be slightly longer, slightly shorter, so then you have to do a bed level. I know these videos get long and uh, Facebook doesn't really like people to upload more than a few minutes of video. So now all your level, complete. all your levels are stored in the machine. This printer will compensate for any differences in the bed surface. Uh, and I'm going to get into a little deeper um, squaring and leveling of this machine, but that's probably going to be a half an hour video. Right now, these steppers are locked. You can see my whole table is moving. That's what the disabled steppers are for. This is a locked piece. You can't move it anymore. So that's what your disable steppers. You hear it a little click there. Now I can move these parts freely. That's what disabled steppers do. Let me uh, take this surface off. Nice surface. I did... Um, I did some squares from my wall project, and I, I like the way that that surface looks. But 
some people are interested in this other printing surface, which is the PEI. Let's line this up a little bit. This is quite a strong magnetic bed. So, now we have a different surface, different layer, a different height on this different surface, supposedly. So, let's do um, auto leveling again. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I want to do a voice auto leveling. We'll start up our machine again. Hi, I am coming. Hello, VizMaker. Hi, I am coming. Auto level. Auto leveling. So that one we just did without doing any hands on. <clears throat> Our nozzle's getting back up to temperature. And then we'll uh, go through the whole 16 point leveling again. Light off. Uh, assumed I uh, said something I didn't. This picks up some voice commands that you actually don't say. It kind of inter interprets what you say, which is not always correct, but... Light off. Light on. Light on. Light off. Uh, it's doing something there. So, we'll go through the whole 16 point, and uh, that'll put us at about 8 minute video. And you can see the light turns blue again also. Wake uh, me up when you need me. Sure. I, um, uh, I'm going to do some adjustments on this machine. I got some uh, metal block here, which I'm going to adjust the belt on the top of this. And then I'm going to also square the uh, frame just to tune this a little bit in for my printing needs it's not something you have to do it's not something the factory can do it's you know when you in the process of putting the machine together you know it's just like you know, buying kitchen cabinets in your house they just drop them off in your yard and you know then they <laughs> you're the one that has to put all the cabinets in level so it's not something you know, the the factory can do for you. It's you know if you want to go a little deeper into getting this machine uh, squared, that's what we're gonna do. So our auto leveling is almost complete, and all the savings will be saved, and the printer will function correctly. It's gonna make adjustments accordingly by itself and uh, it does work I've been using it for Leveling last, complete. I've been using it for the last few days on my prints and um, you know everything turns out very nice take care happy printing